Today we're going to be taking a look at the rebuild process for the Dutton Lanson trailer tongue jacks. Now this is going to work for the 600 up to 1,000 pound variety of jacks, which are typically going to be the 6400 or the 6700 series. Uh, these need to be made after 1997, so that's the cutoff when they switch to a new gear kit. Anything before 97, you'll need something else or maybe even a new jack if the gear kit's not available. You'll see here we've got our screw gear, we've got our handle gear, we've got the spacers that are made to fit in the outer tube of the jack, it gives us a greater surface area for the handle to ride on, and we've got our replacement pen. Now these are part number DL22437, these are going to come as a kit for you. While we're doing this, we're also going to show you the wheel replacement. Pretty simple, straightforward, one bolt wheel replacement if that were ever to get damaged. The wheel with the new bolts, part number DL22440. And we've also got a handle replacement. Now you'll notice the handle is a little bit of an upgrade. It's more of a rubberized texture, larger areas on the end to help keep our hand in place. That's also going to come with the bushing for it to ride in. And then there's a little roll pin if we need it to get it secured. That part number is DL22446. Now as far as wheel replacement goes, this is a pretty straightforward situation here. We're going to use a couple of 19 millimeters. We just need to get our bolt pulled out of there. It's going to slide out. We would at that point grab our new bolt, nut, wheel. You're going to place that back in, slide our bolt through, and then get it secured down. Now we don't want to tighten this down so much that it causes our wheel to bind up. This should be able to freely rotate. See that? Won't spin freely. That's going to be just a touch too tight. Back that off just a little bit, and there we go. Nice smooth operation. That's the ideal setting. It'll be right where you want it to be. Now, if all you need to do is replace your wheel, you're done at this point. Now let's get into our, our gear and our handle kit here. There's a black cap on top. What we'll need to do is just use a screwdriver and just kind of pop that cap up and off. like that. When we look inside, we see a bunch of grease in there, but in there are our gears. So let's get that grease cleaned out. All right, now you can see right here, closer to the side our handles on, there's that little roll pin. That's that pin right there, it holds our handle in place. Now if you are just replacing the gears, you need to save that. That doesn't come with the gear kit, that only comes with the handle kit. To get it out, we just want to use a punch. We're using a 530 second here. All right, now once that's passed all the way through our handle, you'll see that's going to free our handle up where we can slide that out. It's got the flat spot on it, that's where our gear is going to ride. Let's set our handle aside for now. Unless you're just doing a handle replacement, then you're ready to just put your new handle in, put your new pin in. Get old pin out of there. We can pull this one out. You can see that's the one that's got the flat spot on it. That's the one that fits onto our handle. We've got those spacers. Those are just going to kind of push in. One that goes towards the handle side. Now if we look down in the bottom, it's going to be our main drive gear. So now this one's designed to hold the pin in place so it can't pass out. And if we reach in there, 
Typically to remove this pin, you'll have to turn it towards the small hole in the side of the jack so it'll come out that way. You see, once we take that outer tube off of our inner tube, you can see we've just got two washers and there's a little nylon washer between there to help reduce friction. That's going to allow our screw to spin coming up and down. That's going to force the leg of the jack down or retract it back up. So it's really hard to mess these up. These screws are super dependable, very reliable. It's not something we typically have issues with. The issues typically come higher in the system up where our gears are. Now the two washers with the nylon disc there if you need to replace that. And that'll be part number DL207357-56. Basically you'll just take them off and put your new ones right back on. We'll bring our outer tube back down. As we do, it should slide up through the middle. Now we're going to be reusing the old gear kit that came with it, of course, since it's brand new. But we'll take our pin. Again, that small hole usually allows us the room we need to get that in there. We just want to rotate it so it kind of lines up with the hole that's in the screw. Place that in there and grab it with our pliers. And then we'll just rotate our wheel until we find our hole location. And we want to slide that in to where we've got kind of equal parts sticking out of both sides of it there. We're going to grab our screw gear. That's the one that is enclosed and that needs to slide onto our pin. Now we want to make sure that fully seats down so the top of the screw should be flush with the top of the gear. If it doesn't seat like that, you just need to rotate it until it goes onto that pin. Side tube spacers there and we'll get those slid in. Now the one that's more rounded uses a little bit of friction to hold it in place so if we get that lined up, typically we can use our punch. There's a little flat spot on that. We want to ensure that that's facing down towards the bottom of our jack or towards the wheel on our jack. It should just pop into place for us. All right, now it'll be time to put our handle gear back in. Just kind of want to line the hole in it up with the hole that's in that spacer. And then if you're doing your new handle, you put your new handle in at this point. We just want to line up that flat spot with the flat spot in our gear there. Allow that to pass all the way through. And then we just have to put that roll pin right back in that hole in our handle. Use our needle nose there and just get it lined up with the hole. And then we'll use our hammer and our punch to knock it on in. Just make sure you're free floating, make sure you don't have any kind of interference or any kind of binding issues. And then it's time to just re-grease that. You don't necessarily need a high temp grease, but a good quality grease is recommended here. Just want to get that filled up. It's time to grab our cap. Pop it right down on there. That's really all there is to it. Clean it up a little bit and get ready to start. And join our jack again and saved ourselves quite a bit of money rather than buying a brand new one. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.